Next on five, the state fire marshal is investigating a deadly house fire near downtown Pensacola. One child died and two other children were rescued and taken to a hospital. And as WKRG News 5's Cody Long reports, two firefighters were burned while trying to save lives. Three children were trapped in their home as it burned to the ground Friday afternoon. One child was pronounced on scene as a fatality. The other two children were transported to the hospital. The fire destroyed the home on Zaragoza Street near A Street. Pensacola Fire Chief Jenny Craner says firefighters battled heavy smoke and extreme heat conditions to try and save the children. The fire department cut a hole in the roof to ventilate some of that hot smoke out during the search to assist with searching for the victims. Police officers got there first and moved one child to safety. They broke a window in an attempt to find the other two. Firefighters got there, rushed inside, rescued the second child, but discovered the third one didn't make it. Two of the firefighters suffered minor burns. It was a difficult fire. There was a lot of fire, a lot of heavy, dark smoke, and uh, two of our firefighters received some burns during the rescues, and they're okay. They have non-life-threatening injuries. Chief Craner says tragedies like this weigh heavily on the hearts of first responders. It's difficult for our firefighters and our police officers and certainly for the, our heart goes out to the family for this tragedy and the neighbors in this community. The state fire marshal's office is working to determine what started the fire. In Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.